Hey guys, um, this video I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, spiritual openness. Um, and, and then by that I mean I, I don't even really mean a spiritual openness, but as direct as you can get, just being open and present with yourself. Because if that's not the first thing that we do, then I guess you could say it, or, or, or off, we're or off to a bad start. Um, in any spiritual experience, the most important thing before you understand the teachings, before you understand anything, or even, it doesn't even have to be a spiritual experience in particular. Let's not separate life from spirit. I mean, any experience, before we judge, before we determine, before we react, there has to be some degree of natural, spontaneous openness with ourselves and the world. Um, without, without that, we can't really experience it to the level that we have the potential to. And by that I mean, we just sort of get lost in our, in our own thought processes and our own issues and our own baggage. And it's sort of, it's, it's so, it's good to just pause all of that, you know? Just let it, let it be, you know? Let it go and experience the moment, because that's all there is. Anyway, um, experience your memory in the moment. Experience your, uh, experience the present. And it really is, it boils down to that essence of simplicity. It's, it just is. And the more we complicate things, um, the more difficult things are going to be for us, and the less clear we're going to see. I'm not saying we can see objectively somehow, whatever that word means, um, but we can definitely see very, uh, we can see deeper and deeper levels. It's sort of like unraveling, um, appealing an onion, and the, the baggage that we once carried, we may need it eventually. We, if, you know, we need our memory, we need our speech, we need many things like that, but we don't need to hold on to it so much. We can we can be at more ease with ourselves if we really want it to be. And, um, so openness. Uh, before judgment, before uh, critical thinking, because if you act from that state of spontaneity and simplicity, it's much different than acting from any other state, quote unquote. Um, it's it's present. It's it's with you. You know, you're with everything in this direct experience, and there need not be anything more. But if there will be, then that's okay too. Um, I guess I'm sort of speaking about zazen, which is a meditation in and of itself. But um, but yeah. Unless, so, openness is, uh, I think, one of the most important things because in most debates and arguments, in particular online, where we're going to find ourselves in those, um, frequently enough, uh, we're, we're, we're quick to uh, build a case for whatever we're trying to push. And yes, sometimes it's important if it's... Well, dare I say, uh, we only give things importance. Any kind of inherent meaning is, uh, can't be given to anything. It's, it can't be judged. Um, there's sort of a natural love and compassion to the world, for sure, but not necessarily so complicated. And we, we often don't allow ourselves to be in tune with that sort of natural business of the universe, you know? Because then our way of thinking, to thinking totally changes it. It begins to see interconnection. It begins to see some synchronicity in things. Um, you begin to feel connected to other people in, in ways that you may not be able to e exactly describe in physical terms, uh, or even in mental terms. Uh, you might not be able to say anymore, Hey, we, we think, uh, we think alike, or, hey, it, it's more of a, an underlying feeling or connection, almost, uh, with the universe, uh, and with other people. So, 
I don't know, the spiritual unfoldment, uh, it requires openness, for, first and foremost, I think. And if we're not going to be open, then we're going to be quick to judge, we're going to argue, we're going to battle through the ideologies, we're going to defend our turf and fight other people. Spirit really, spirituality, or at least as I've learned, is really just being open with yourself, no matter what you want to call it, and just open. Take, take out with yourself and just leave open, you know? Or, um, it's, it's, it's very simple and it really escapes all kind of descriptions. Um, but I don't know who mentioned this, but somebody recently said that, uh, there's a difference, and uh, in spiritual practice, they often say things are very simple. But just because it's simple doesn't mean it's easy. There's a difference between simple and easy, and one one that is not difficult and one that is because it's so simple. Um, but at any rate, uh, that's really all that I was trying to drive at. Uh, it's trying to flow with the uh, the moment and try to impart, you know, a little bit of what I'm going through. Um, yeah, openness. Uh, through that, we all grow, you know? Thanks for listening.